Hi everyone, this is Anne and I wanted to do another pregnancy update. I'm now 16 weeks and 4 days and I already went to the gynecologist uh, for my last ultrasound which I made a video about, I think, because I really have pregnancy brain and I'm forgetting a lot of things. <laughs> um, and of course everything was really good on the ultrasound and I also got my blood results back. So first they said we were gonna call you if there's something you need to take because she said a lot of women have to take B12, we actually have to inject them. And I was like, I'm vegan. <laughs> That might be the case because she said like you need way more when you're pregnant and she wasn't even talking about vegans because she didn't even know I was vegan back then and then she said we sometimes need to inject them and then I mentioned to her of course that I was vegan and I also said I've been deficient in vitamin D in the past because everyone in Belgium almost is uh, so I was kind of worried for that but I actually did not get my results like they didn't call so I figured my blood is fine but they did call because there is this uh, screening that they do for chromosomal abnormalities um, and with that they test for trisomy 21, 13 and 18 which is like Down syndrome and some other things so basically uh, they, the results, there were no results because there was not enough fetal DNA in my blood but they say it's pretty common and also I think the doctor, like the nurse, might not have taken enough blood because she was filling the vial and it stopped, like my blood stopped and I was like joking to her, oh, I'm out of blood <laughs> and she said, oh, I think that will be enough but I don't think it was enough so I have to go back for that but in the ultrasound, like everything seems perfect thin neck fold, the nose bone was formed the heart had already like two chambers, the brain as well the neck and the head were nicely formed and the forehead and the mouth was formed and the doctor really already looked at a lot of things because I was almost 15 weeks um, but she's gonna look further at my anatomy scan at 20 weeks so basically I also asked them then like how was my blood? Uh, was my blood fine? and they said yeah it was completely fine I was like even my vitamin D and <laughs> they were like yes also your vitamin D was perfect I was like okay <laughs> so everything was perfect with my blood so I thought that was really great because I had weeks of morning sickness where I was surviving on muesli and crackers and I really thought I was gonna be like iron deficient because I like had more a little bit more blue under my eyes and but the thing is though when you're pregnant you have more blood going everywhere and I have always been prone since I was a kid to having like blue here and you also see here a little bit like two veins you can probably can't see it in, in the camera but you see more of my veins everywhere also going to my boobs um, just in general my veins uh, you see more of the blood so of course that's gonna show blue under my eyes so yeah <laughs> another thing that I've noticed is well this is actually since I was really um, not sick but I had the thing with my uh, tooth like I had a tooth like a root infection but the doctors didn't find out and it took I was like in pain in real pain like for a week and I barely could eat I lost like two to three kilograms in one week time and I since that time I noticed I got more thin here in my face um, and also with the morning sickness not being able to eat much I lost two kilograms and of course that doesn't help anything so I am looking forward to um, gaining more weight again and then filling out here my cheeks again um, but basically I'm happy that everything is fine and that I don't need to like do anything because I haven't taken my prenatals like very regularly since 12 weeks I take them sometimes but I mostly pay attention to um, I sometimes taste separate omega-3 from seaweed and uh, folic acid and vitamin b12 and sometimes a vitamin d spray to make sure you know that everything is fine because yeah i just want to make sure everything is fine <laughs> so yeah we're going back monday for that um chromosomal screening normally that's actually a pretty expensive test that was like 400 euro in the past it was even 600 euro and it screens your baby I already told what it was for, blah blah blah. <laughs> but basically, they recommended it to people who had a bad ultrasound because it was so expensive. But now, because it's paid back by our health insurance, everyone is actually doing it pretty much, all pregnant women. So, the chances of something being wrong, also with a perfect ultrasound, is very, very small. But I'm still nervous. I mean, 
Who isn't nervous? If two sperms went into my egg at the same time, my baby is going to have like double the chromosome, like three chromosomes on each. And then something's wrong and they, they're not going to survive and st stuff like that can happen, you know, and it's nothing you can do. It's like, it's not about your health. It's literally like out of your control. So it's just something that worries me. And I'm like, oh, why didn't the test work the first time? And now I have to go back. But yeah, the baby uh, itself, I can't really show you. I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to show you my belly. <laughs> so basically, I am showing, I'm showing every day now, like this. This is how I'm showing, mon morning to evening. Um, the thing is, the baby is now the size, a bit larger than an, a good sized avocado. Around it is the amniotic fluid and my uterus, so it's a little bit, of course, bigger than that and it's here and it's pushing up my bowels so it's like this and when i lay flat on my stomach i see my uterus here and sometimes i see the uterus go up a little bit more on the right side sometimes a little bit more on the left side and then i know oh the baby's on the left the baby's on the right so she moves kind of from side to side and sometimes she's in the middle and yeah she moves around a lot <laughs> and basically i have sometimes here the pains like the stretching of the bands that are attached to the uterus um, but for the rest pretty fine so it's like this mostly and yeah my boobs have grown also oops so is that too far i don't know is that too far well i think it's fine anyway i also wanted to show some things i got so i got my first maternity pants um i have it on actually i'm going to show you because i can't button up my pants anymore and i'm showing pretty early i'm 16 weeks for days so women only show you like 20 weeks but i think because i um my body proportions i have really long legs in comparison like, to my torso my torso is kind of i don't know not super long but my legs come to here like here are my hip bones like they end here <laughs> so you know, <laughs> over there is here, my leg bones and here, my navel is up here. So, here is my maternity pants. This really comfortable, oh my god. I'm, I like want to wear these pants all the time. <laughs> but basically, this is how it looks. Of course, my belly is not big yet. I'm still in the beginning, but it has a nice stretch to it so it can stretch along with me but anyway now i don't have to because i used to wear my older jeans and i was constantly wearing them with my button open <laughs> because it was just too tight so yeah i'm going to show you what other things i got because i want to wear dresses as well so i got these pregnancy stockings which are i think really going to be comfortable and then i got a lot of things for the baby and also Firstly, what people send me. So my best friend, Sherry, she sent me, first she sent me these lights, that are still for my birthday. Um, and she also sent me this super cute onesie. She told me it was on the little note she uh, included in the package because it's from my Amazon wishlist. And I actually know which onesie was on there because there was one super cute on there and it's not on there anymore. I will put a picture. So I was super happy with that because it's so, so cute. And also Paul, um, Paul Sheer, also a subscriber, sent me this super cute bath chair for the baby to sit in the bath when it's a little bit bigger, like six months or so, and included a bunch of stuff though. Included was a thermometer, it's in this box, so I'll show it when I get to it. Uh, also, super happy with that. Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys so, so much for sending something because I didn't expect someone would send me. I never like announced that I have a wish list or anything, uh, but I did to Sherry because like, she's my best friend. I got this for the baby. It's like this play mat. It's huge play mat. It's really like soft here on the back. And also you've already unfolded this for my brother's baby when he comes over. He has a nine, nine month old, so my little nephew comes over sometimes to play. And then you can sit on this, it's nice, thick, comfortable. Then I have some new stuff. I will show you first some new stuff and then I'll show you some stuff I got from a secondhand market. Secondhand, yeah, something like that. 
So the first super cute thing I bought is this like little dungaroos. These are so cute. You see? For a little baby girl. Then I got this super cute blue dress. Really, really cute for the little. And this goes under it, little shorts, big enough for the diaper. Yeah, I can't help myself, you know, when I see these cute things, like, how can I help myself? No one can resist. It's impossible. Then I got this little cute dress with, it's a little cute dress with like a whale on it and stripes. Also all super soft, it's like organic cotton. Not that everything needs to be organic for me, not at all. Okay, I'm gonna show you, there's some new stuff more, but I will first show you also some things I got from the second hand market. So this is like this little cute jumps, jumpsuit with these little sparkles on it. Yeah, it's really nice stuff and so cheap, like three euros, one euro, I was like, damn. Damn, damn, this is new. This is like a baby bib. Cute little baby bib. And then there was this from the second hand market. This is cute little coat. On the camera it shows more red than it is. It's like a darker red actually. And it has these like bunny ears. <laughs> so that's super cute. And I got this. It's for in the summer. This little strawberry suit. And got this little set. It's actually this little thing. And then you wear this vest over it, like that. So also everything is cute. Like this baby clothing. Then I got like it's a little pants. The pants with like a little shirt in this color, but you wear this little dress over it. Like it's like this blue butterfly dress. Like that. So that's also super cute. Ugh, I'm gonna stop saying super cute because <laughs> I said it way too much. This is new actually, just some, some little pants when she's a little bit bigger, I guess. Some pants. I'm not gonna show you. Oh, got some dark blue, got some gray. Then I got some from the second hand place also. This little cute, super small. Actually, no, this is new. This is from the second hand, like pink ones, and this one, there. Just you need a bunch of these, of course. These are really comfy. This cute, cozy pajamas, it's really warm, with this little hat. So this is what I'm gonna bring to the hospital, I think, because it's actually for 56, no. No, it's actually not for a newborn. Well, depends how big the baby will be, hopefully not too big, because it has to go through my vagina. Then this one, super cute also. Stop saying super cute. Stop clicking your tongue. And dish <laughs> with a little star on it. This is actually what I got from my uh, sister-in-law. She had a boy, so I couldn't use much of the clothing, but some things I can use. Then I got bought this from that store with a little Thing. And then I got one with longer sleeves also. So, oh my god, I've gone crazy. I've gone crazy. Okay, this is even more from that store. Like, this is so adorable. I'm gonna start using some different words now. Adorable, magnificent. Um, I'm a princess, is super cute. Super adorable, cute, <laughs> small one. Um, then some others like that. I'm not gonna show everything. Okay, so then other stuff that I want to show is I got these ones, diapers, which are I'm going to do um, cloth diapering. So this is way cheaper than disposable diapers. But of course, if we go out. We will take disposable diapers for our convenience, but when we're at home, which we will be most of the time, um, I'm just going to use these. These are the Bum Genius cloth diapers and they fit from newborn to like months old. So they are amazing. One of the best reviewed ones, cloth diapers. There are, I've got them in a bunch of colors. I got like 10 so far. I want to get like 15 more. And these are really, really good. Like. 
I looked at a ton of reviews of various ones and these seem to be like the best and the most liked by most people. So I'll do a video later on claw typing probably when I have a bit more experience with it. Now I have not. This is a thermometer. I got a ball thermometer like a little frog from Paul. <laughs> and this is what I bought. It's a little feeding ring. See, it's a little, it's a little giraffe, and it's like they can bite it when they feeding. You know, it can hurt. And I bought Jesus, this little. I will. I only kind of buy for small kids, like not too much, but mostly things that either are very visual and make sound. Because uh, from personal experience with my nephew and seeing other babies, that's what they want. Like they, they almost don't play with anything else but things that like make a lot of sounds and like rattle and stuff like that or are very visually appealing. Especially when they're small. Of course, when they're big, it's different. Uh, I think that's about it. Well, yeah, that's about it. That's it <laughs> for now. <laughs> I also got these today when I went to get the maternity pants. These, oh my god, these cute little socks. I got a bunch also though from the second hand place. Got some other ones like these with these little stars on it. And um, like these are from the second hand market from people. They look brand new and actually I could take them for free. These ones were actually free. She said like, oh, take the, take for free. It's free, those socks. I took like five pairs. I didn't want to be greedy and like take too much. <laughs> but yeah, basically that is what I got so far for the baby. Um, <laughs> it's just very tempting to buy all these things. She's doing really good in there. So far, everything is great. Um, <laughs> I just hope this test works this time. If not, if it fails the second time, they often do a punction. Because that's the last test you can do to see like for chromosomal abnormalities. But I would actually op opt for a very uh, extensive ultrasound. That's actually another thing they do. And then they look in very detail to the baby. And because we're not going to do a punction. Because there's a chance of like a 1 in 100 of having a miscarriage. So I'm not taking a chance. <laughs> no way in hell um, that I'm doing that. Uh, some other things I can mention is my appetite is pretty much... It restored um, the morning sickness. It just feel uh, a yucky feeling like I still have that after eating often. Uh, but that's about it. It's not really bad or anything. Um, it's it's nothing that prevents me from eating. I've been eating normally. Uh, my weight is the same. I think because my appetite is the same as always. So <laughs> I try to eat a little bit more now. But it's more important um, to gain weight. And the ending of your second trimester, the third trimester, that won't, probably won't be an issue. I'll always make sure, you know, they test you, always doing a blood test, see if everything is fine, the baby's tested. The baby was growing really well, which I'm so happy about. It was even like his crown length, like his crown rump length was like two days ahead. <laughs> so I hope it won't be a huge baby coming out though, <sighs> because that's gonna hurt, because I would like a natural birth. Um, without pain relief <laughs> fingers crossed but that's kind of what I want to do so yeah we see how that goes my mom had two c-sections but she also has a very a very different body type than I do so yeah we'll see we also already have a bunch of names but still gonna do a video about that and yeah that was my update if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will see you later bye